My name is Alman Luce. Um, I was born in Austin, Texas in 1976. Um, I grew up in Texas, in Austin, and Houston. I can't remember the last time I haven't had grease in my hair. And all the music that I listen to is basically from the 40s to the 60s. But I don't discriminate. I love Western Swing and I like punk rock and garage. Am I a rocker or a barber? Um, I'm actually both. I'm a rock and barber. That's something I'm working on. I'm a barber and a rocker, a rocker because I'm always listening to music. When I wake up in the morning, I'll throw an old vinyl record on my record player here. Uh, I'll listen to anything from, you know, Big Mama Thornton to Charlie Hightone. And I barber because I love to cut hair. I was about six or seven years old, and I went into my dad's Vietnam um, case locker. And when I opened it up, there was about five or six straight razors in there. And ever since then, I can just remember being fascinated with uh, barbering because of the straight razors. So when I saw the straight razor, I remembered the barber shops and the old look. And I love making people look good and feel good. And, you know, you get to meet all kind of different people from all different walks of life. And, you know, it's interesting. Coming into a barber shop, it's you and the person cutting your hair, you have to see that they have a passion for cutting hair and uh, you know, you have to have that passion and, uh, and he has it. He, he it seems like he's uh, lives in the wrong era maybe. He's from another era. One of the things that I like about Alman is that we have a mutual or we have a, an admiration or a love for old music and old things, you know, rock and roll, music and everything, that, everything in between, you know, uh, clothes and things like that. So it's, uh, it's nice to have somebody in the shop that, you know, there's something we can talk about. We have, not only do we get along, but we can also um, have a shared interest. Barbering and music, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's in my blood, and that's basically all I know. My guys are awesome, man. I love my band. They're friends of mine. They're awesome. They're great musicians. And I'm coming for you. Uh, we're out with Lucy and the Hoopin' Hollers. Here to my left, one of the best pickers I know and a best friend of mine, Danny El Gallo Angulo. Yeah, we're just a bunch of guys making noise. I mean, nothing special, just rock and roll, you know? It's what we do. To my right, all the way from Spain, Mr. Jordy on bass. We are a great team. You know, together, we, we can make a uh, great sound. From San Fernando Valley, California, Carlitos Reynosa, the drummer. Reynoso. Almond. Well, when I first met him, I was like, wow, he's crazy. And then I was like, but I like it, it's fun, it works. Rock and roll, like he said, he will always tell you, rock and roll, man. That's rock and roll. Actually, I met him in, I know I met him here in LA about, yeah, about 15 years ago. Back in the day, we played a show, we went on tour to Texas, and he met us at a show, he got us high, he, put us away, you know, we had a good time. He shanghaied us because he came back with, from Texas to California with us. And uh, ever since then, uh, I gotta say he's crazy, that's all. Uh, all right, let's get there for some rock and roll. Yeah, come on, Jesus, help us. Marijuana. Make it legal, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> ah! All right, 10 in the morning, or whatever time. <laughs> I put together a band, we have a seven inch EP. Uh, 45 Speeds, got four songs originally on it. I bought the um, record label, I paid for the copyright, uh, the pressing, the mastering, the recording, all the artwork, and um, it's not cheap to press a record, you know? It's not cheap to record, it's not cheap to get the master, it's not cheap to do the artwork, you know? But it's mine, and I earned it. Um, and, you know, can't nobody talk shit on that, you know, no matter how much you want to. You know, because I kept it real, you know. 
I, I manned up and, you know, a lot of people talk, a lot of people do, you know. A lot of, talk, a lot of people talk about doing, but I do it. I don't sell, some of my friends sell records, some of my friends sell drugs. I sell records, no drugs. The soaps. That is, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be a the soaps. I'm gonna be a millionaire. One day I was like, "What the hell can I make that nobody else has?" I was like, "Not everybody wears pomade. Not everybody's a greaser, you know." I was like, "But every man, every now and then, at least has to shave." So I was like, "I'm gonna make almond loose's world famous, you know, shaving soap." What you do is you add like a vintage brush, you brush it with hot water, you apply it to your face, and then you, you shave with it. But the beautiful part about it is, is that it's a great product. It works good. And I invented it and nobody else did. I own it and it's mine. <laughs> I have a lot of influences, but I want to sound like Almond Loose, and I want to look like Almond Loose. I don't want to, people be like, oh, this guy's trying to be Elvis. You know, there's only one Elvis, um, and definitely one me. <laughs> Showcasing for the first time their new EP, Nightmare, we have Almond Loose and the Hoopin' Hollers, all right? Almond on the stage is, he's pretty crazy. Um, he's fun to watch, he's fun to play with. Um, Talks a lot and sings a lot. <laughs> I guess you can say. Plays with a lot of passion. No, I mean, uh, being serious, he's he, he's he's a good he's a rock and roll barber. I mean, like you know, a lot of guys out here they take the shit too serious. It's like just have fun with it, you know. Uh, I get high, you know on the stage, naturally. You know, it's like my endorphins open up. It's just, it was, I just get this feel of satisfaction. And it's, you know, it's wholesome and it's, it's fun, you know? It's a good thing, you know? And I'm a good person and it's awesome. Crazy. Crazy. Crazy on the stage, his life. Fucking crazy, two words, how's that? He's fucking crazy, man. C-R-A-Z-Y, crazy. <laughs> Good crazy, rock and roll crazy. That is what Alman is. The most important thing in my life is my son. I'm a good father, I do everything in my possible power that I can. That's the reason I have the soap company, and that's the reason I'm making these records and putting out music, and that's the reason I'm barbering, you know. I loved his mother more than anything in the world, and uh, we were together for a long time. You know, it's sad that, you know, things didn't work out with me and his mother, but I wasn't going to have him around it, you know. Uh, but, you know, time will take care of everything, you know. It always does. And uh, we'll be fine. I'll make sure of that. Rock and roll. I will be very rich. I will be very successful. And people will be very happy with me. Mm -hmm.